Shout out to the Dallas Mavericks. Yo. Shout out to the Dallas Mavericks because they are heading to the NBA Finals. Listen, bro, before we talk about who the fuck I think is going to win the NBA Finals, who y'all think is going to win the NBA Finals, I think it's time to celebrate the Western Conference Finals. You know what I'm saying? I feel like as a society, we just we just move a little too fast. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we try to move on to the next thing as soon as possible. But can we just, like Kai said, if y'all was actually fucking listening, can we just enjoy the moment for, for, for what it is? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and this Dallas Mavericks team um, was a team that was hella doubted going into this year. The duo of Kyrie and, and, and Luka, hella doubted this year. Shout out to the 210 in the building. They just went live too. Um, but, yeah, this this is this is a Mavs team that's been hella doubted this season. Um you know, Luca was having a fantastic season, was in MVP conversations. And um, not to say that the job is finished, but making it to the NBA Finals is definitely... Honestly, making it to the Western Conference Finals is already... Oh, my God. What a successful season. But making it to the NBA Finals... Bro, this is already far and beyond what this team was supposed to be this season. I can't lie. And I told y'all, I understand I got Minnesota. I had Minnesota winning the series. But I told y'all Dallas was going to be a legitimate championship contender. Um, going into the playoffs, and they definitely proved me wrong. Uh, proved me right, excuse me. And they're now headed to the NBA Finals, bro. Luka Doncic gonna make his first Finals appearance, man. Gonna gonna make his first Finals appearance. Kyrie Irving back to was there 15, 16, 17. His fourth NBA Finals appearance. Uncle Kyrie Irving is actually Uncle Drew now, bro. Kyrie Irving is not Uncle Drew. There's a bunch of guys on there as well that, um, you know what I'm saying, have been on pretty shitty teams but have found themselves on a championship contender, contender in a relatively short amount of time. And I'm very happy for those guys as well. P.J. Washington, uh, Derek Lively, um, Daniel Gafford. These are There's so many dudes in the league chat that, like, are just wasting their time being on shitty-ass franchises. And I'm glad a, a team like the Dallas Mavericks can steal those players away. Um, very, very, very happy for the Dallas Mavericks and, and what they've accomplished. And truth be told, I truly think this is this is only the start of a championship window that can last for three to four years. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm I'm very I'm very excited for that. I'm very I'm very excited for the Dallas Mavericks right now. Um, moving on to the Minnesota Timberwolves, I can't lie. A lot of people did have y'all winning the championship after y'all beat Denver. But this season is no failure of a season whatsoever. No failure of a season whatsoever. All right? Um, Not a lot of people had y'all being a 56-win team top of the Western Conference. That alone, the fact that y'all achieved that, to me, was already a successful last season. Something to build on. You know what I'm saying? So shout-out to the Minnesota Timberwolves on that front. All right? And then to go out the gate and sweep, I think a lot of people favored, well, even then, like, they, it was iffy because of the whole experience factor. But to sweep KD and the Phoenix Suns, crazy. To beat the Denver Nuggets, which, let's keep it a stack. I understand now it's a different story. A lot of people thought was the best team in the playoffs to beat them in a grueling ass seven games. To go on to their home court in the first two games and bust their ass is an incredible feat, bro. Incredible feat. And it's unfortunate that, you know, they got 4-1 in the Western Conference Finals. But again, the Minnesota Timberwolves, this is not a season to to hang your hat, uh, to, to hold your head down for. You know what I'm saying? Um, in the grand scheme of things, this is a team that's still overachieved. And there are definitely things that they can build on um, in the future. Now, I will say this to be on the a pessimistic side. Um, Cat? Cat? Carl Anthony? It might be time to go, gang. 
It might be time to go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why is Rage live on Twitch? I'm sorry, bro. Um, we had a crazy debate. We've been having crazy debates about this on the pod, but the idea of trading Cat. Um, I, I, I am ready to let go of Cat. Now, I understand Cat was a big part of their success this season. I, I understand that, but I'm also not a fan of the Minnesota Timberwolves being stagnant moving forward, right? And uh, whatchamacallit? Not to say that Cat didn't put in the work, not to say that Cat is ass, but I just feel like what I saw was a team that needed much more offense. Much, much more offense. Relying on Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Towns to carry your offense is just not the move to me. It's it's at least the way it's constructed. It's not the move to me. I know I understand Anthony Edwards can improve internally, but the reason why I'm comfortable trading Cat is because of the fact that if Cat was to go, it's not like that hole would just be completely be left voided. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I say that is I, I still think Cat is better than Nas Reed, but a lot of the things that Cat provides, Nas Reed can do, right? Um, and if that means if you if you letting go of Cat means you can have a much stronger backcourt. Uh, more offensive firepower coming off the bench, and hopefully you can still maintain that defensive identity. Um, bro, to me, I'm trading Cat. I'm trading Cat. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Cat, you are not a number one, clearly. And as a number two, I don't, I don't even think you're that. You know what I'm saying? I think Cat's role ideally would actually be like what Chris Stops Porzingis is right now. I think... From a talent perspective, Cat and Ant, uh, not Cat and Ant, Cat and Porzingis are on the same level to me. But the reason why Porzingis works is, uh, is on any given night, he can truly be the three or the four, and things will be completely fine. Cat right now is like a solidified two on that offense to me. And when Cat ain't working, boom, the offense is cooked. You know what I'm saying? The, the offense is just cooked. So, shout out to Lunatic for the dollar, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Follows him from Boston, but him a Luca D. Writer. What do I do? <laughs> My God, bro. We'll get into that in a second. All right, we'll get into that in a second. So that's what I got on the Mavs. That's what I got on the Timberwolves. And now, now we can finally, properly. My goodness. Shout out to Hugh Reform for the ten months. We can finally prepare prepare for the NBA Finals, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We can finally prepare for the 2024 NBA Finals. This should be a classic. This should be a classic, man. God, since some Denver Nuggets fans want to throw shots at some Celtics fans, I'm going to say it right now, bro. This Finals is about to be so much better than last year's, man. I can't lie. This is a finals that actually deserves to be on ABC. This is a finals that actually deserves to be on ESPN, TNT, whatever it is. Not the NBA TV ass finals we got last season, man. Oh my goodness. Everyone should be cheering. Not only are we getting peak hoops, you are also getting peak narratives. What's there to complain about? It's one of those finals that's just for everyone. This is cinema. This is absolutely fantastic. This is beautiful. This is peak. This is peak. Should I give my finals predictions right now? I am looking to clip this up on YouTube. Should I give this final my, my finals for Let me let me know what y'all think, man. Let me let me let me talk to chat real quick, man. I already know what chat gonna do. I already know what chat gonna do. Hold on, man. I already know what chat gonna do. Let me let me put up a poll, man. Okay, okay, okay. Since this chat isn't as dumb as Twitter, please, for the love of God, I understand we just came off of the Mavericks winning. Do not base this off of who you want to win. We will set a different poll on that. Who do you think think is going to win? Because motherfuckers wanted to say that the polls aren't proof anymore because it only shows how much people really hate your team, B-Souls. All right? 
From an objective standpoint, who do y'all think is going to win? Not who you want to win. Who do y'all think is going to win? Go ahead and answer that. Oh my god, I, I just I just fucked up the, the name, but y'all know what I mean. Alright. Let's see what the polls say. Let's see what the polls say, man. And it's fine if you truly don't think it's a Celtics. I don't I don't I don't think his dick suck at all. You know what I'm saying? If you truly think the Mavs uh pose problems or I go lie, if you truly just don't trust the Celtics, that's a fine, you know what I'm saying? That's a fine, uh, whatchamacallit? That's a fine reasoning. If you don't trust them, you don't think they're clutch, that's a fine reasoning. But just hate voting, that's what it, that's what pisses me off. But Celtics, it looks like a majority of chat does have Boston favored. Um, 60-40 right now, 58-42. That's what the poll is looking like. It's the Celtics ring to lose. Celtics need KP. Okay, 57-43. All right, all right, all right. All right, so by the time the, the poll is closed, it's looking like 55-45, 55-45. Who do y'all think is going to win? Boston edges out the Mavs 5, uh, 36 vote to 28. Now the next poll, the next poll is, I already know what this is going to be. Who do you want to win? Celtics, Mavs. And go ahead, bro. Just confirm my, com confirm my beliefs. Confirm my beliefs, bro. Confirm my beliefs. Okay. There it is. <laughs> There it is, man. Celtics, I'm from Boston, though. Okay? Isn't that what you're supposed to do? <laughs> oh, oh, never mind, never mind. Okay, I see what you mean. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. 45, 10. Shout out to the 144 in the middle, man. Y'all some glazing meat riders, bro. 82, 18. <laughs> Series defense a lot on KP. Okay, let's see what else. Pokemon go to the polls type shit. Type shit. Boston edges. I can't get down with that. Head ass. If Kyrie has two rings. Damn, Kim. Oh my god, bro. I'm glad you did two, because I would have had I would have agenda pushed like hell if you only did one poll. It's I'd be so is they all going to be on that Celtics bandwagon. No, they're not. Okay, so this is my this this right here confirmed my belief. Okay. Going into the series. I think there's enough respect for the Dallas Mavericks on both sides to the point where you can both simultaneously realize that the Celtics are probably favored. But the Mavs, like, legitimately pose certain matchup problems that, you know, you can legitimately think that the Mavs are going to win. You know what I'm saying? Um, and also, I, I do think there's a lack of trust when it comes to the Celtics because of their past. At least their perceived past. You know what I'm saying? The the choking allegations, they can't get it done in the biggest moments and stuff like that. Right? That's what I believe. But in terms of who motherfuckers want to win, bro, it's us against the world, bro. It's us against the world. All right? And, and it's a poll like that that is the exact reason why I truly don't give a fuck what anyone thinks outside of Boston anymore in terms of what this ring means to Jason Tatum's legacy, Jalen Brown's legacy. Is this Mickey? Because ah, 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 ah. I'm telling y'all, bro, a lot of y'all have already made up your mind even going into this finals that even if the Celtics win, y'all don't care. Or y'all are just going to continue hating. All right. So, if that's already the scenario at hand, might as well get it done. You know what I'm saying? I, it, it would give me a lot of peace knowing that a lot of y'all would be making fun of a team that actually won a championship at the end of the day. Recognize it's a Mickey Mouse championship, but it's a championship nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? Instead of the slander being directed to a team that lost. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just for clarification as well as to why I've been talking shit. Hey, man, if the slander's gonna come, gonna come hard regardless, pause, no ditty, boy. 
I might as well set myself up for the greatest press run in NBA YouTube history if we win. All right. <laughs> All right. Fuck it, bruh. I want the smoke. I want the smoke. I'm here for it. If we lose, I'll take it to the chin. I'll be in Lowe's playback. I'll be on Twitter. I'll be on YouTube. But all I ask, but all I ask is if we do win, y'all better stay right the fuck there. Y'all better stay right the fuck there. All right? Wherever the fuck y'all are on YouTube, on Twitter, I got so many bookmarks, I got so many screenshots, I got certain ads to add, I got skits pre-planned. Boy, I'm about to be hell if the Celtics win. That's all y'all need to know. And y'all better be afraid. Yeah. Archie. Every single fucking tweet. You are in my mentions. Adding me on some Luca Mav shit. Archie. And while you are warning me this, in terms of if the Celtics lose, this is how I'ma be, I am warning you right now, you better not delete them fucking tweets, pussy. Cause I got screenshots. I got screenshots. Everyone talking shit, all of these dumbass takes, all of these dumbass videos, all of these dumbass tweets, I am here. I am here. I am here. I am here. Yes. Yes. As far as my predictions, I can't give that to y'all right now. That's a separate video, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. That's for like tomorrow, bro.